Paul II preaches the rosary of man. Anti-Pope John Paul II, Document on the Rosary, number 25, October 16, 2002. Anyone who contemplates Christ through the various stages of his life cannot fail to perceive in him the truth about man. This means that Christ is the truth about man. Anti-Pope John Paul II, Document on the Rosary, number 25, October 16, 2002. It could be said that each mystery of the rosary, carefully meditated, sheds light on the mystery of man. Anti-Pope John Paul II preaches that the unsearchable riches of Christ are everyone's property. Ephesians 3 verse 8, To me, the least of all the saints, is given this grace to preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. St. Paul says in Ephesians 3 8, that he was given the grace to preach the unsearchable riches of Christ to the Gentiles. St. Paul is referring to the attributes of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Christ's attributes as the Son of God are unsearchable, but the Antichrist tells us that these unsearchable riches of Christ are actually the property of each man. Anti-Pope John Paul II, Redemptor Hominis, number 11, March 4, 1979. In short, helping everyone to get to know the unsearchable riches of Christ, since these riches are for every individual and are everybody's property. Anti-Pope John Paul II preaches that each man is the risen Christ. Anti-Pope John Paul II addressed the International Symposium on Jan Hus, December 17, 1999. In contemplating the truth about man, we turn inevitably to the figure of the risen Christ, he alone teaches and embodies completely the truth of man. The Antichrist could hardly be more blunt. He says that to contemplate the truth about man is to turn inevitably to the risen Christ. The truth about man, therefore, is that man is the risen Christ. Anti-Pope John Paul II, Regina Celli, April 28, 2002, on the risen Christ. His radiant countenance of glory fully reveals to us the truth of God and the truth of man. Anti-Pope John Paul II addressed to missionaries of precious blood, September 14, 2001. And at the moment of Easter, this joy came to its fullness as the light of divine glory shone on the face of the risen Lord, whose wounds shine forever like the 